In this shortcut tutorial I will show you how to create a simple split screen video clip. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in shortcut. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've brought four video clips into a shortcut um, and they're all roughly the same length. It pays to do this. Um, in fact, I think they're all the same length. It just saves editing them down in the timeline because Shotcut doesn't work with proxy um, clips. It, it can get a bit sort of um, lumpy. Um, you get lag and all sorts. Um, so I would do each clip first. It just makes for an easier life. Okay. Now drag your first clip into the timeline and what you're now going to have to do is add some tracks. Now you can do them individually by right clicking and then sort of left click add track or you can press Control i So what I'm going to do is press Control i three times and that will give me four tracks. and I'm going to just bring in the videos into each track so I've now got four um, videos same length in the timeline now I'm just going to kill the audio on these by left clicking on the little speakers because we don't want to hear it and you probably won't want to hear four tracks playing at the same time anyway that's one thing you'll need to think about is is the audio you may want to kill one, two or three or all four, you'll need to think about that as well, but anyway. So let's select the first clip, the one at the very top, it'll probably say V4 for the track. And with this first one selected, look for the filters tab, left click on this, then left click plus what you're looking for is something called size and position left click on this now when you get more familiar with this you can play around with your sizes and your positions you can also play around with these bits and pieces but for now I'm just going to do a simple um, sort of four screen four video split screen so in the box next to preset left click on this and decide where you want your video so let's say we're going to place this one at the top right so look for top right and just left click this ok select your next video clip and then left click on plus size and position so let's say we want to place this one in the top left, look for top left, job's a good one. Go to your next video clip, left click the plus sign, size and position and again presets and we'll place this one bottom right. Go to your last video clip Again, left click, left click on the plus sign, size and position, and that one's going to be the bottom left. So presets and bottom left, and that sort of is to it. Like I said, you might want to decide to have one of the tracks playing. Um, so obviously, arm it. But other than that. I would leave it with no sound and you're good to go. 
so I'm going to just left click on export choose the format I want to use left click export file and go to the folder you would have created you probably know all this anyway but just very quickly and then when this is finished rendering I'll come back to it okay well that's the video clip finished rendering so just go and have a look see if it's worked and yes the video clip is working pretty good I think so we'll leave it at that hopefully this helps somebody thank you for watching cheers